G'day and welcome back, Faintly Saintly here. Today we're looking at a game called Heroes of Loot Gauntlet of Power. It's the demo version, it's just available on Steam right now, which I will have a link to in the description. And uh, as you can see here, the full release is in nine days. So at the time of recording, this was the 8th of June, and uh, Steam says this comes out on the 18th, so not far to go now. So what is this game? don't know a whole lot about it, but I do know that it is basically, well, according to the Steam page, it says it's relevant to me because it's similar to games I've played, Binding of Isaac and Vampire Survivors, both of which I put way too many hours into. So it's a dungeon crawler, a bit of bullet hell, a bit of a, an auto, what do you call it, like an auto battler, I guess. Um, obviously some Zelda inspiration sprinkled in as well, which is always good. We've got some locked characters here, but we'll just start with the elf little cutscene. I might uh, skip that just to save that for your benefit if you're interested in the story for any your own reason. Let's have a look here. Tab for map. Standard uh, grid based little map there. Q or left click to use. I have nothing to use. WAC to move and space to dash. Very nice. So let's get started here. Here's the gauntlet. Gives you all the power. Lovely. How does this work? Oh, okay, I'm shooting arrows. That's all automatic. Just shooting arrows to the front. And shooting little bouncy skulls. I do like the uh, the sprite work in this. It's quite, <laughs> quite charming. Here we go. Leveled up. Available mount directions. Okay, so we can see from this arrow is on the, the front direction, I guess. And then there's obviously spots to put other weapons. A tall sword or a magic wand. I'm going to put a magic wand. I'm going to put that behind. Whoa, getting overrun a little bit there. Okay, so the magic one looks like it bounces off walls, so really having that behind was probably a, a good move in, uh, in a bit of a fortune. Right, so yeah, you can see the Vampire Survivor's inspiration definitely coming out in the uh, the gems on the ground and the auto, auto shooting. Um, another magic wand. Uh, do I just stick to the, the cardinal directions for now? Turn this into a bit of a, a Robotron <laughs> style up down the fright shooter. Got a key, that's good. A bomb. Oh yeah. A pink, blue, gold bombs and two different types of keys. Move on. Who's the developer of this one? Orange Pixel. I'm not actually aware of anything else they've done. Let's have a quick squeeze and see if this is their first foray. Regulated City, Residual, Questionnaire, Ashworld. Oh, okay, so they've done quite a bit. Nothing I'm immediately familiar with, but it's not their first rodeo, which is good. All right. What is this? But yes, I'm definitely getting, um, as a big fan of Binding of Isaac, I'm certainly getting Isaac dungeon crawling vibes here. Maybe a little, up. a little more forgiving in combat so far. Um, oh, what the hell, more, more magic ones. I'll cover all the cardinal directions here, up, down, left, right. It should cover most of my bases. Keep pinching these gems, and we get a chest and a magnet. A loot magnet. Increases your attraction effect on nearby loot. Okay. Beautiful. Um, I do have a key, so... Restores your full health. Fair enough. Now, if you're new to the channel, uh, again, my name is Fately Sadly. I like to cover all sorts of uh, new and upcoming games, especially indies, especially roguelikes, things like this which are, you know, right up my alley. So if there are things that interest you, please consider subscribing. It would help me out a lot and keep you in the loop as I cover new and upcoming games as well. And also I'm always open for game suggestions. So if there's a game you're aware of that's coming out that I might not have covered yet, um, please feel free to let me know in the comments and I will definitely take a look. All right, another chance here for a magic wand. So I'm just gonna stick that right there. And we'll have little magic bullets bouncing around all over the place now. Smash up this furniture, so we can get anything good out of it. Now I'd have to wonder, because this is so close to release now, what, 10 days away, what if this demo's been out and about for a while? So this is obviously the, 
you know, first I've heard of it was someone to, somebody uh, put it on my radar and suggested it. But some of you might be familiar with it, might have been following it for a while, so I'm interested to know how it's developed over time and, you know, what's what's changed in that process. But uh, all I know is what I'm playing in front of me and I'm uh, liking it so far. Really nice graphic style, um, obviously fun gameplay loop so far, and that uh, directional wheel is also very interesting as well as opposed to your, your vampire survivors where your weapons might have auto aim or specific aim patterns lame head here we go a boss what's he doing oh summons no match for my magic spam that's for sure Nearly got him. There we go. Collect all the loot. What is that? A panic button. Teleport to the starting room and gain HP. Okay, that's our item up here. So, yep, very Isaac uh, style item use there. And uh, who are you? Saving up for a new broom. Oh, I accidentally just used my item. <laughs> okay. Well, now we know what that does. Exactly what it says on the tin. Now, uh, I was just talking to my buddy here to see if he actually does anything or wants anything. Under busy, bud. Oh, I'm sorry, don't let me uh, interrupt you. I'll move on. Dungeon 1 completed. Beautiful. 141 loot, 169 kills. Nice. Dungeon 1 2. Alright. Um. Looks like a shop might be here. Extends the time you have to pick up loot. Increases your maximum health. Increase HP per heart. That's interesting. I'll grab this one because I can't afford it. And a bit of survivability wouldn't hurt. Okay, here we go again. So we'll see what changes on the second level. Ah, oh, more magic wands. Let's do it. Whoa, bombs. Is that a secret room? Those bombs might have just done me a huge favour. So it does appear that loot does uh, time out, so I want to be onto that before it disappears. Don't want to waste any. Boots. Dash boots. Gives your dash move extra power. Nice. Alright, let's see what's up in this little secret area. Lamp of shinies. Instant loot collection. Really? Ah, okay. That's a use usable item. What have we got in this room? Lots of skulls. Up. Lovely. Ah, oh, look. <laughs> it's probably silly, but I'm just got magic ones in every spot I can. I love that instant loot collection already. Beautiful. It's just like that vampire survivors pick up, which is just picks up every gem on the screen. It's lovely. So that is the boss fight, but I might. Uh, Keep exploring for the moment, just to make sure I'm not missing anything here. <laughs> really liking seeing all these magic uh, bullets just bouncing around everywhere. There we go, now I've got no real excuse to miss any loot because I can just keep using this item and bringing it all into me, which is lovely. Magic wand, here we go. All spots are filled now. A magic coming out everywhere. <laughs> and now I'll find out that there's a, a boss that's resistant to magic or, or something to that effect. Uh, silver key, why not? Health again. Oh, uh, what am I? No, I really should save that key, shouldn't I? Not that exciting just to spend it to heal, but anyway. We'll learn. Righto, boss fight, Rocco. Is this a serious looking character? 
<laughs> it was a bit less serious in this form. Looks like a Super Meat Boy style character. Super Rock Boy. Is this incredibly loud, or is it just me? Whoa. Alright, I might just uh, put that down a little bit. It didn't seem too loud, but when those explosions started, I could see my little uh, audio output bar bloody flying up. Wings of haste, increased running speed. Uh, that actually, that could be pretty good. I mean, the lamp was good, but this is uh, always active. Yeah, we'll keep that. Such a mess. Not a busy bud. All right. Move on. 138 loot, 123 kills. Interestingly, less kills on the second floor than the first. Dungeon 1-3. Give me that gem. It'll be interesting to see how the enemy variety changes as you progress, because at the moment it's all very familiar. Another level up, here we go. So what do we do? Oh, did that level... Right, you can upgrade. Okay. So maybe I have made a mistake because uh, now I'm going to need separate magic ones to upgrade every direction. Maybe that wasn't a smart move in hindsight, but we'll have to find out, I suppose. Is that health? Okay. Oh. Loot finder extends time you have to pick up loot. Okay. That's uh, that's just a passive. Item, I guess. Back in the shop here. Already got that. Lowers damage received, restores one heart. I mean, $16, why not? Grab that one. Just to be safe. Jeez, I'm just walking into it at the moment. Get all this furniture destroyed at the same time, see if there's anything in that. Another level. Rubber. Shot loot is collected. Why is it highlighting those two? Okay. No, oh, it's not a bad little upgrade to have. It certainly feels like it. I mean, the, the store page describes this as a bullet hell, and at the moment it certainly feels like one, but my enemy is more than for me. These magic little missiles flying everywhere. Which is very fun and satisfying in its own right. Attention. I keep walking into the enemies as they spawn. Gold key for the boss room. But I will just keep exploring. I've got a bomb there. How do I use that? I wonder. None of the buttons I can think of seem to be doing anything. Um... <clears throat> Magic wand. Just keep upgrading, I suppose. Fire boy there. Now, a big chest, and I have a sil silver key. But I'm gonna open the door instead today. What the temporal treasure?
Compass allows quick travel on map. Hmm. Okay. That's just a little permanent upgrade. <coughs> Let's try it out. Beautiful. Save me a bit of time. And now for the boss fight, the Cyclo Bros. I love how menacing the artwork makes them look, and then when you get into the map, they're just these cute little sprites. <laughs> they do look pretty dangerous, though. Oof. Aggressive little buggers. Got him though. A master key, what's that? Opens all treasure rooms and chests. Okay. How do I use it? Oh, just like a normal key. Okay. I'll do that and I'll grab my little button back here. Hello again, friend. Such a mess. Uh, how do I... How do I use a bomb? E. E for a bomb. Good to know. Let's move on. Urgent 1 3 completed. 235 loot, 205 kills. Here we go again. Check out the shop. Increases the traction effect, gives you multiple bombs. Mm, grab that. Doesn't have to have too much uh, item pickup range. <coughs> hey, little purple fella there. He's a bit aggressive. Alright, now we're seeing things a little bit more chaotic. I might upgrade the arrow, do we reckon? all this good stuff. Well, what are you? Are these arrows good use? Now that is an interesting character design. <laughs> little little skull with legs. Got him. Thank you for the jewels. It's a Viking Pac-Man ghost. Lovely. Not a busy. I'm gonna keep checking in on you. Is that a trap? Yep. Right, blue gems for purple gems. Four to one. Purple for blue. Why? I don't know what they do yet. <laughs> Interesting to see. Alright, this is a really interesting floor compared to what we've seen so far. Traps everywhere. Mini bosses. Gem trading. Which is something that's a bit of a mystery to me. These guys are just paying out. Lovely. Only <clears throat> five percent chance a kill gives HP. Interesting. So I really want to get those kills with my arrows now. Weapon codex knowledge. So it seems like there's some progression in, or collect, you know, a bit of a collect, collectathon with the codexes, I guess. I'll have to have a look at that after this room. There's some some form of progression anyway. That's what I'm trying to say. Golden key for the boss room. 
Here he is again. You've been I have been busy, thanks for noticing. And you're kinda of busy, I should have noticed, I'm sorry. Codex. Okay, yep, bit of a Yeah, right, that's cool. Increase maximum health, gives you multiple coins. Right. Good to know. What was that? Bit of health. Ten of these rooms I haven't explored yet. <clears throat> It is quite hard to see the projectiles coming back your way, though. You really don't want to stand still. Magic one, let's upgrade that one. Finder, beautiful. It feels it looks simple, but it's very polished. The movement's nice, the the sounds are nice, the graphics are obviously very nice. It doesn't feel like it's just a quick little cash grab project. It feels like they've actually put some real effort and care into this. And I can see this being, um, I know it's only a demo, but I can see this being a pretty long-term sort of game to play. I feel like there's a lot to it, a lot more than a first glance might uh, suggest. Magnet. Alright. Get those arrows all up a bit more. Oh, now they're golden, I think. Might be one or two more rooms before the boss fight now. Another one of these rooms. Still trying to get my head around, you know, I want to shoot arrows, but they're not going to shoot the way I'm facing, they're just going to shoot forward. <laughs> I'm trying to aim them up, it's not working. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Is that a key? Thank you. Another... Viking Pac-Man ghost here. Let's see what kind of damage I'm doing. So the arrows seem to be doing two to three. And the med blue magic bullets doing one. Another level. Get those arrows growing, I guess. Use that silver key, absolutely. Enough then. Uh, can't open that one. Let's just go for the boss. Muddy. What are you doing there, Muddy? Not much. And kill your summons before they can reach me. Like last of us so far. Amulet of rapid fire. Lower time between bullets while wearing it. Got another gig of the space grunts pretty soon. Well done. I think I'm going to keep this though. I think I like movement speed. Beautiful. Yeah, 
Here's our skull boss again. Mini boss, I guess. I mean, he's more threatening than, than last boss. At least his summons are quick and dangerous. Mm, I'll hold on to that key, actually. We'd find a... These rooms are just easy payouts so by the looks of it. Are they saying that I'm nearly dead and I'll probably prone to just walking into these? <laughs> uh, another vampirism upgrade. I don't know if I'm getting the kills of the arrows to really justify that though. And with this amount of chaos, it's really hard to choose what weapon you're getting kills with. There's a perseverance. Increase enemy piercing. Oh, nice. Little shop here. What's that? Level up all active weapon types. Level up all active arrows. All weapons, though. That sounds pretty good. Metal shield rotates around you. That's like a, a cube of meat type item. We'll get this one. There we go. Some of those magic bullets are looking a lot more damaging now. Healing potion, thank you very much. And I've got a few more coins, so I'm going to come back up here and I might buy the shield. bit less of a offensive and defensive tool than a cube of meat like I thought but still nice to have and the cube of meat I'm referring to is obviously um binding of Isaac just in case you weren't aware seems to be the obvious comparison in this case You. Crazy little room. So many spikies. Um, so am I missing something or have we still not worked out what these gems are actually for? That, that last floor where I had the option to trade blue for pink or pink for blue, I'm still not quite sure why I would want to do that. Jeez, they just keep coming. Tofu magic. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Whoa. Hmm. 
<laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> Not entirely threatening, but interesting. Here's go, please. Thank you. Book of Darkness. Deal damage to everything. I'll keep my movement speed, thank you. Continue in the full game. More playable characters await. Gain more weapons, unions and combos. Unions and combos. I wonder if there is like a... Uh, a uh, vampire survivors type thing where you go up to your specific weapons, level them up to a certain point, and they might merge into something different. Is that what that's trying to tell me? That's pretty cool. Bigger variation of room layouts and hazards. Nice. More items, quests, perma unlocks, and meta unlocks. Beautiful. Here to wishlist on Steam. Well, I already have, so... If you're watching this, I recommend you do too. I'm going to have a link in the description again. So if this interests you, go check it out for yourself. Demo is live now. Full game is out in 10 days from the time of recording, so on the 18th of June. If you're a fan of Binding of Isaac, Vampire Survivors, or anything in between, definitely worth checking out. And once again, if you want to see videos like this and... Uh, you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing. It helps me out, keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. And again, if you have any game suggestions for any upcoming, you know, indie games, roguelikes, that sort of thing that you want to see me cover, pop a comment down below and I will uh, get back to you as best I can. So thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.